Why did crypto stocks fall again today? What occurred? Crypto stock shares fell for the second day in a row as the value of digital tokens declined in response to a governmental crackdown on Bitcoin mining in China. Coinbase Global, which was down 4.5% as of 10.17 a.m. EDT Tuesday, Riot Blockchain, which had lost 9%, MicroStrategy, which had given up 11.9%, and Marathon Digital, which had given up 11.4%, were among the stocks that fell in response to the news. Major cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Dogecoin were also down significantly Tuesday morning, though they, like the stocks mentioned above, rebounded slightly later in the day. So, what is the situation? The Chinese government has tightened its grip over cryptocurrency mining, use, and trade. Although the country was the world leader in Bitcoin mining, the government saw the digital currency as a danger. Vice Premier Liu He told a meeting of finance officials on Friday night that the government would tighten down on Bitcoin mining and trading activity as part of a program to promote financial stability. The Beijing government has long been opposed to the usage of cryptocurrencies, but its policy of shutting down mining companies is novel. In response to the changing scenario, some big miners have stated that they will no longer supply machinery to Chinese enterprises. Not unexpectedly, the new legislation had repercussions throughout the crypto sector, as have previous Chinese government declarations. Because the cryptocurrency industry rises and falls in tandem, crypto stocks tend to follow the currencies. Coinbase, the sole publicly traded cryptocurrency trading platform, fell as a result of the news. Its IPO in April appeared to be the pinnacle of the crypto revolution, but Coinbase stock is already down 50% from its opening day high. Coinbase's valuation isn't directly related to the value of cryptocurrencies because the company makes money through transaction fees, but interest in using and trading crypto tends to correspond with the value of the digital tokens. When the asset class is increasing, like it was in the first few months of 2021, more new investors are drawn to it than when it is decreasing, as it has recently. Riot Blockchain is a cryptocurrency miner, and its stock price fluctuates in tandem with the price of Bitcoin. Riot conducts all of its mining at a single plant in upstate New York and has no plans to expand, thus it is not directly affected by Chinese mining policies. Any prospective limits on crypto mining, on the other hand, might scare investors away from stocks like Riot, and the declining price of Bitcoin has a direct influence on its company. Another Bitcoin miner, Marathon Digital, has no operations in China, their fleet of approximately 13,000 mining machines is situated in Montana. However, it is still vulnerable to the same geopolitical and regulatory issues that are driving the crypto market, and declining Bitcoin prices will have a negative impact on its company and stock price. MicroStrategy CEO Michael Saylor is one of the most vocal Bitcoin supporters on social media, and the business has not only invested its own money in the cryptocurrency, but it has also sold bonds and taken on debt to buy even more Bitcoin. Just recently, the software company said that it had purchased 13,005 tokens at an average price of $37,617, bringing its total holdings to more than 100,000 Bitcoins. If the price of cryptocurrencies continues to plummet, MicroStrategy's shares will undoubtedly follow suit. So, what now? Cryptocurrencies will remain volatile, and the news from China may only be a passing fad for the market. Nonetheless, the chance of buy the dip that were heard during previous crypto sell-offs appear more muted this time in the aftermath of the Coinbase IPO, when retail investor cryptomania peaked. With the United States now more or less fully reopened following the COVID-19 closures, 
those Americans who took up crypto investing during the worst of the pandemic may be reverting to other types of entertainment, especially as the token's prices continue to decrease. Nonetheless, China's crackdown should not undermine the primary rationale for cryptocurrencies, which is that they may be used as alternatives to national fiat currencies. In fact, China's new restrictive laws may provide an opportunity for crypto bulls to demonstrate Bitcoin's resilience, albeit this does not appear to be happening at the moment. We hope you enjoyed watching and listening to this video, please let us know your opinion in the comments area below. If you found our content useful, please like it and share it with your friends. Also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell for more crypto-related contents.